Today, as you may know, a few hours ago, another toll increase went into effect on all the bridges and tunnels going into New York. This toll increase is the second of four increases that are scheduled. Today's increase is $1 on cars. It's also on trucks. If you don't have Easy Pass, it now costs you $13 to get into New York City. The people who use the tunnels and bridges are hardworking, middle-class people, and they're suffering. They're getting hammered from every corner, and now they're getting hammered from the Port Authority. Now, in investigating why the Port Authority raised the tolls, the Union City Concerned Citizens Group uncovered some very interesting and disturbing information. We discovered that the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey has granted Union City $2.875 million. That's interesting because there is no Port Authority property in Union City. So the question is, why is the Port Authority giving money Why are drivers paying an extra dollar every time they cross the bridge or tunnel to subsidize Union City? Now what gets interesting is that the Port Authority is governed by a board of directors and half of the board is appointed by the governor of New York, the other half is appointed by the governor of New Jersey. And the governor of New Jersey is a Republican, but he's got a political ally and a Democratic Party state senator who is also the mayor of Union City, and this is Brian Stack. In looking at the budget of Union City, which again, we are not in Union City. Union City has no connection to the Lincoln Tunnel, but they're getting $2.875 million. We're discovering that this money is going into a municipal budget for Union City that is not connected in any way to a transportation expense. The Port Authority has a mandate to get its money and spend it for transportation infrastructure. Instead, they're giving millions of dollars away to a city, which already is very troubled financially, and this money's going into a general pot for use any way that Union City's government sees fit. In addition, there is other money, there's so much money going from the state of New Jersey to Union City that it raises serious questions, in addition to what the Port Authority is doing. Union City gets about $180 million in special state aid. It gets it for its school system, it gets it for its municipal government, and now apparently the state of New Jersey is using the Port Authority to funnel additional money into a black hole called Union City. Despite this, Union City is suffering. Drivers, many of these drivers come from Union City to cross into New York as commuters. They're getting hammered with every toll increase. And Union City is becoming the poster child for fiscal irresponsibility. We have a case where 15% of the municipal budget of Union City is accounted for in special state aid called transitional aid. That's separate from how the school system is subsidized. And until Union City gets its act together in terms of being fiscally responsible, this is a state. The state of New Jersey is going to have to give billions of dollars to replenish and re renovate and rehabilitate the Jersey Shore. We don't know where the money's going to come from to keep on bailing out every year cities like Union City. And when the money stops, when the merry-go-round stops on the fiscal merry-go-round, Union City is going to face and an incredible fiscal cliff of its own. It's going to be a fiscal disaster. In the meantime, every driver is getting hammered. The middle class and working class of Union City is getting hammered by these toll increases. And what the government of New Jersey is not telling the people is that the government is using the Port Authority and they're using these toll increases to subsidize towns in New Jersey that are connected to political cronies. And it's unfair and it's unjust, but it's hammering every poor commuter and driver. And this just basically has to stop. In addition, let me point out something else that we uncovered during our investigation. Everything we're talking about today is subject to disclosure to the public under what's called the Open Public Records Act, or OPRA. 
Now what's interesting is that if there's a simple explanation about a transportation purpose, we'll get the records. We want to see the traffic records. We want to see the correspondence. We want to see how the governor of New Jersey will justify how there's traffic diversion caused by the helix behind this being reconstructed. That's the so-called stated purpose behind the $2.875 million special grant. But in fact, when you walk around and look to see where the traffic diversion occurs, it's not in Union City. It's all in Weehawken, which is where we are right now. So why is Union City getting this money? In terms of getting documents to figure out exactly what's going on, we then find out that we're getting stonewalled. It's not the facts so much that start to trouble us, it might be the cover-up. Under Oprah, we're supposed to get these records after seven days of a request, or if the state or the agency requests an extension. We requested documents from Union City, from the governor's office, and from the Port Authority. To date, the only response we've gotten back is from the Port Authority, which requested a one-month extension, the state of New Jersey, the governor's office, requested an extension after the deadline to respond had passed. And then when they responded asking for an extension, they failed to specify any reason for an extension or the amount of ext extension that they wanted. Under New Jersey law, this counts as a constructive, not a constructive, but an actual denial of our request for documents. And the governor's office has violated state law. As far as Union City is concerned, the recipient of $2.875 million in driver toll money, Union City got that request on November 14th, which, incidentally, is one day after the FBI raided Union City City Hall. We went in the next day asking for these documents. They're supposed to give it to us in seven business days. We have received no response whatsoever. This is stonewalling all over the place. In the meantime, drivers get hammered because the state of New Jersey doesn't want drivers to realize that they're paying increased tolls, not for rebuilding the Helix, not for keeping the Lincoln Tunnel safe, not for helping uh, bridges and tunnels stay properly maintained. These drivers are paying toll increases to subsidize political cronies, to help these towns and cities waste more money and drivers are getting hammered, and they're now paying 13 bucks so someone up the hill on the fiscal cliff can get a bailout. This has to stop. Thank you, and I'll open it. Well, I'll also introduce from the Union City Concerned Citizens Group, this is Emilio Del Valle, and I will ask if, if you want to make a short statement as well. Well, my statement is, I mean, when is this going to stop? Right in front. It's okay, you don't have to bend over. And just uh, spell your first and last name, please. My name is Emilio Del Valle, E-M-I-L-I-O. My last name is D-E-L-V-A-L-L-E. I'm one of the uh, founders of the Union City Concerned Citizens Group. And I mean, I have to echo the same sentiments as Mr. Nixon here. I mean, when is this going to stop? I mean, $2,875,000 to be able to, to use in your, your, your budget in order to meet your responsibilities. I mean, it's incredible. And I mean, this has to come to a stop. Not only this, but other situations that have been incurred in Union City. The, the, shop, the, the FBI raids, you have stuff that's been going on with, the, with free gas and free car being used in Union City. If you look at the TV every once in a while, you get a report where someone is abusing the city of Union City, whether it be the Board of Education or Union City itself. You had a police chief that was that was caught not performing his duties. I mean, you have uh, individuals that are are, are, are accused or being convicted for bribing Union City officials. I mean, the CDA office was uh, raided last week or a week and a half ago by the FBI and other occurrences. I mean, what's going on here? Now you get $2,875,000 to help you with your budget. This has to come to a stop sometime. So tell us what's the end result here. Is this just, um, you want people to know what this information, what's, what's going on? Or are you filing a lawsuit? What's going on next? No, it's not a question of filing a lawsuit. We want people to know why your, t your tolls are going up. Why is it that the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey are raising your tolls and there's more, more toll raises coming? I mean, this is incredible. I mean, how much do they collect every year? I mean, it's millions and millions and millions of dollars. I mean, 
me, why do you have to give anyone any money to balance their budget? I mean, yes, let's let the people know where the money is going. Because a lot of people sitting there paying the tolls and going to work, they're not looking at the news every day. They're not reading what's going on. Into it. That's why they got us. We're here to protect us and let them know. Your money is being put into where it's not supposed to be. Yeah, let me chime in on one thing. We discovered this connection between Union City and the Port Authority just by going through the financial records of Union City. At one city. We're not looking at the other 500 towns in the state of New Jersey. We're just going after Union City and looking at their financial numbers. What other discoveries can we make if we keep on looking at other towns? But Union City, this is pretty egregious. The mandate of the Port Authority is to help transportation infrastructure. This toll increase should be going to fix roads and, and bridges and tunnels to keep an aging infrastructure going. The helix that is behind us is 75 years old. These tunnels are Great Depression era infrastructure. They were built in the 1930s. They need ongoing maintenance and rehabilitation. And the toll increases, the extent it should be made at all, must be going for transportation infrastructure. Not to bail out Union City, when it's already extremely wasteful in terms of its spending. And then, again, Union City is getting special state aid to the tune of approximately, for what we can discover, $182 million. You have a municipal budget where 15% of the budget is accounted for by special one-shot grants. This is a city that is basically fiscally insolvent as we speak, and is gonna be in severe trouble when the state has to pay billions of dollars for Hurricane Sandy relief. In the meantime, $13 to cross the Lincoln Tunnel, $15 per axle if you're a trucker. The burden on the middle class and the working class is too high. And Union City is a working class city where the people really feel it when they have to cross the tunnel or get on a bus and, and pay what they're now paying. Any oh, any further questions? Thank you. Okay, thank you.